One of the things that makes Jerry Goldsmith's music so unique is his use of mixed meters, and more specifically, odd meters. So let's go back and talk about the basics of music. Music is broken down to bars that consist of pulses or beats. Now, in the simple, uh, simplest terms, we have 2-4, uh, 3-4, and 4-4, four, four, which are divided by 2. And that is the simple meters. We have compound meters, which are divided by 3, and you get 6-8, 9-8, and 12-8, which in many ways are equivalent to the 2-4, 3-4, 4-4 four, 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 four of the simple meters. But then we get to the odd meters. The odd meters are the 5 eighths, the 7 eighths, or it could be 5 4 or 7 4, but generally speaking, it's a, a the way that the dance, the way that it moves, the pulses, kind of creates a um, not as common feel. Jerry Goldsmith had a tendency to focus on the odd meters of 5 8, 7 8, and 9 8. Uh, five four seven four these kind of things, and uh, also mixed meter. So let's discuss what mixed meter is. Mixed meter it means that every bar or so the meter switches. So you might go from a four four to a seven eight, a five eight to a three four to a four four. It just means that things are constantly shifting, and that makes the dance, the feel, the pulse of the music kind of moving all the time. It's it's not what you expect. And that was something that made Jerry very specifically unique. This did not mean he did not use 4-4 or stay on 4-4 for quite a while. He did. Um, it's just that the original part of him sort of came out of this mixed meter usage. Let's take a listen to something that is in straightforward 4-4, and I'll count out the beats so that you feel this 4-4-ness of this title. So for this video, I'm going to focus on a score that Jerry Goldsmith wrote for a film called Total Recall, which is the Arnold Schwarzenegger film from the 1990s. Extensively used uh, mixed meters all over the place. And one particular example was from a, a cue called The End of a Dream, where he wrote an ostinato. Now an ostinato is a repeating bass figure. And what's interesting about this is that he takes this, this ostinato, these eight notes, and he repeats it on the second bar, but in 7-8. So he loses a beat, which creates a skip. You kind of start to feel this dance, but it skips every other bar. And what's even cooler than that is that the theme itself skips because your expectation of when the change will happen doesn't happen where you expect it. That is a part of what makes Goldsmith so utterly unique and cool. All right, let's take a listen to End of the Dream for a minute, and then I'll break it down a little bit better. That is uh, an illustration of what makes his music unique. Now, all through Total Recall, uh, there are tremendous amounts of really cool moments that are um, mixed meters. So if you want to get to know Jerry Goldsmith's music and you want to understand why it is sounds so different from everybody else who's working in Hollywood or who is doing stuff now versus back in the day, it's due to this mixed meter. The idea that you can have a 4-4 bar 
after that a 7-8 bar, maybe a 3-4 bar, followed by a 5-8 bar. It's the mixing of these meters. It's not just that he's using a simple meter and a compound meter and an odd meter. It's that he's shifting all these all the time. I've heard many composers who write something in 7-8. Um, I've done it myself many times. But just writing one whole piece in 7-8 is not the same as mixed meter. It just means that you're in 7-8. Okay, well that's my first video on Jerry Goldsmith's music. I am sure there will be many more. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button below. Uh, subscribe if you want to come back to hear some of the future videos on film music. Other than that, uh, thank you for checking this video out today.